So last episode, uh, boy, it's amazing how my brain just shuts off right in the middle of the talk. <laughs> Episode five of season two. So last episode of early onset the here. Uh, realized that Arya was a girl and said she was smarter than the torturers and took her as his cupbearer. Oh, yeah. Okay. And um what else? Uh little finger, Lord mm-hmm. Banish, what took Caitlin, right? Um Return Ned Stark's bones as good faith, which I still wouldn't believe him. Because he just, he a born liar, you know. He all about himself. Um, And what else? Oh, the red witch lady. Mm-hmm. She gave birth to something smoky, some black smoke. Something smoky. And like the man said, if you the Lord, if, if you serve the Lord of light, why you always doing stuff in the dark? I, I'm just saying, I'm with him. You know, that don't sound like no Lord of Light to me, but hey, whatever. <laughs> to each his own. Yeah. And that was the biggest thing to me. She gave birth to a full grown thick thing cup covered out of her stuff and ended up as a grown man. I'm just wondering what manifestation, how it's going to turn out, how it's going to look. Because it's a grown, full grown man. So. Mm-hmm. All right. And then Daenerys, find a place to go. Oh, Corf. Oh, Corf. Corf. Daenerys. Hey, yeah, she threatened him. I'm mean, like, he want to see the dragons. And he's a, a supply, a merchant. So I'm glad she did show. Merchant. She did show him her dragons because he probably would have took them. He mm. probably would have took them. Yeah. But I'm just saying. Anyway, but that's it. That's the recap that I can remember. You know, yeah, he's been having a brain fart. Yeah, shit. <laughs> brain fart. Old age, man. You get him. Don't blame me on old age because we both about the same age. I'm older than you. Oh, wow. One year. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's get started with yeah, you. Let's, let's get it. Swear it. By the mother. My son has no interest in the Iron Throne. And I see no reason for hostility between us. Your son can go on calling himself king in the north. The Starks will have dominion over all lands north of Merc Caitlin. And in return for my son's loyalty? In the morning, I'll destroy my brother's army. When that's done, <coughs> Rathian and Stark will fight their common enemy together. Please bring my terms to your son. Kings. Hmm. <laughs> the brother cared more about him than his wife did. Loras, 
My lord, my lady, get out. Stannis will be here in an hour. When he arrives, Renly's bannermen will flock to him. Who gained the most from our king's death? Stannis. Tell me, Sir Loras. What do you desire most in this world? Revenge. You can't avenge him from the grave. True. So they know it's not the... the... Brienne. They're Brienne. <laughs> or they just think Brienne is working for Stannis. Well, they don't think... They, they don't think she did it, but you know, Stan, some other people probably do. Do you want to be a queen? I want to be the queen. Hmm. Killed? By who? The Count's differ. Most seem to implicate Captain Stark in some way. Whomever did it, I say, well done. It's not what Varys says. He says Renly's army's flocking to support Stannis, which would give Stannis superiority over us on both land and sea. Stannis Baratheon is coming for us, sooner rather than later. It's called strategy, honey. <laughs> we need to be ready. The king is taking personal charge of siege preparations. May I ask specifically what the king has in mind? It's important that we talk about this. It's the king's royal prerogative to withhold sensitive information from his counselors. It's wildfire. Wildfire? They have thousands of pots already stored in their vaults. They are planning to launch it from the city walls into Stannis' ships and armies. Enough. Even torturing you is boring. <laughs> Oh, Lancel, tell my friend Bronn to please kill you if anything should happen to me. Please kill me if anything should happen to Lord Tyrion. <laughs> I need to speak to you about what I saw in that cave. Oh, I made it clear to you there'd be no need to speak to me in this Your matter. Grace, I... I've never known you to need to hear a thing twice. You come to lecture me on truth. I come to tell you that what I saw... All my brother's bannermen have come to my side. They won't be able to resist us now. Soon I should be sitting on the Iron Throne. Nothing is worth what this will cost you. Not even the Iron... I know more about it. If you take King's Landing with her by your side, the victory will be hers. I... She's a foreigner. Preaching a foreign religion. Some believe she whispers orders in your ear and you obey. I believe you crazy. That's what I believe. Power hungry. We set out for King's Landing without Lady Melisandre. That's a lie. I bet you it's a lie. He's so arrogant. Hey, I feel like he's gonna die. He ain't gonna see no iron throne. Stannis has more infantry, more ships, more horses. What do we have? Is that mind of yours you keep going on about? Well, I've never actually been able to kill people with it. <laughs> That's the truth. <laughs> He said, good thing I'd be out of the job. <laughs> we won't be able to hold the city against Stannis, not the way Joffrey is planning on holding it. Corruption! Yes! We are swollen, bloated, foul. Brother fornicates with sister in the bed of kings. Mm -hmm. Wow. Who's <laughs> like that? He gonna get killed, ain't he? King is a lost cause. It's the rest of us I'm worried about now. <laughs> You have to admire his imagination. He's talking about you. <laughs> People think you're pulling the king's strings. They blame you for the city's ills. <laughs> Demon monkey. <laughs> he think there's this shit, don't he? Mm -hmm. yeah, come on. You're the crew of the sea beach. I'm your commander. Welcome. Where are we headed, Captain? The Stony Shore. <laughs> I just... <laughs> Don't reckon I've got much use for a captain at all. I'm thinking I could do the job of captain real well myself. You can do that. Take the ship, head out on your own, and I will hunt you down, drag you back here in chains, and hang you for a traitor. <laughs> you are on here. They go on without you. <laughs> I'll take you up. Who are you? Dagmar, the first mate. Aren't you with the rest of them? Or did they send you? Did they send you to roll me out, dump me halfway in the sea? That would be good for a laugh. 
Take me to my ship. The Starks have overextended their lines. Now that summer's over, they'll have a hard time keeping their men and horses fed. Starks understand winter better than we ever will. The cold won't feed them. Our spies report growing discontent among the northern lords. And I'm sure if those same spies snuck into our own encampments, they would report growing discontent amongst the southern lords. This is war. No one's content. We've underestimated the Stark boy for too long. You've been waiting for him to fail. He is not going to fail. Not wine, water. We'll be here for some time. Girl, where are you from? Maidenpool, my lord. And who are the lords of Maidenpool? Remind me. House Mouton, my lord. And what is their sigil? Oh, lord. A red salmon. I think a Maidenpool girl would remember that. You're a northerner, aren't you? <laughs> Good. And one more time, where are you from? Barrington, my lord. House Dustin. Two crossed lyaxes beneath a black crown. And what do they say of Rob Stark in the north? They call him the Young Wolf. And? They say he rides into battle on the back of a giant dire wolf. They say he can turn into a wolf himself when he wants. Mm. They say he can't be killed. And do you believe them? No, my lord. Anyone can be killed. She can remove the death stare. Hmm. Anybody can be killed. Including you. <laughs> so he works for them? He works for the ministers? That girl says nothing. That girl keeps her mouth closed. That boy becomes a girl. I was always a girl. And I was always aware. You're one of them now. I should have let you burn. And you fetch water for one of them now. Why is this right for you and wrong for me? I didn't have a choice. You did. I did. And here we are. A man pays his debts. A man owes three. Three what? You saved me and the two I was with. You stole three deaths from the Red God. We have to give them back. Speak three names. And the man will do the rest. I can name anyone. A man has said. The one who tortures everyone. They call him the tickler. That is enough. He's not here yet. He'd have seen us. Blown the horn. When will he come? The half hand does things in his own time. I heard the half hand spent half of last winter beyond the wall. Yeah. Beautiful, <laughs> isn't it? Gilead love it, eh? You see, I'm worried about that girl. the first men. Think of how old this place is. Thousands and thousands of years ago, the first men stood here, where we're standing, all through the long night. What do you think they were like, the first men? I think they were afraid. I think they came here to get away from something. And I don't think it worked. One blast is for rangers returning. Wildlands is two blasts. And three for White Walkers. It's been a thousand years, but that's the only time they blow the horn three times. Well, if it's been a thousand years, how do you know? Well, I read it in a book. <laughs> <laughs> I remember reading an old sailor's proverb. Piss on wildfire and your cock burns off. The substance burns so hot it melts wood, stone, even steel. How much do you have? Why do I gotta wear chains? I don't know if you've ever seen a battle, old man, but things can get a bit messy. Men die. Men shit themselves. Men run. Which means pots falling. Which means fire inside the walls. Which means the poor cons trying to defend the city end up burning it down. Our present cons stands at 7,811. So one job for you was her. You won't be making wildfire for my sister any longer. You'll be making it for me.
Dracarys. <laughs> He'll be able to feed himself from now on. Did you see the dress Zaro had made for you? They say he's the wealthiest man in Kaa. You would look like a real princess in Zaro. She's not a princess, she's a Khaleesi. Right. You should wear it, Khaleesi. You are their guest. It would be rude not to. <laughs> what are they doing? Malako says the statue is too heavy to carry. Kavaro says that Malako is an idiot. They can pry out the gems, the rest is pure gold. Thank you, Simone. Mother of dragons! On behalf of the warlocks of Karth, I welcome you. A demonstration. Take this gem. Look at it. Into its depths. Look closely enough, and you can see yourself in them. Mm. Often more than once. Should you grow tired of Saro's baubles and trinkets, it would be an honor to host you at the House of the Undying. You are always welcome, Mother of Dragons. It's a nice little trick. <laughs> it looked like Stannis. To me, it just looked like a shadow in the shape of a man. In the shape of Stannis. She got a point there. Kind of did, though. <laughs> My two youngest need me. I've been away from them for far too long. Yep, you yeah. I never knew my mother. My own mother died on the birthing bed when I was very young. It's a bloody business. What comes after is even harder. Shall we? Shall we? <laughs> you mean to kill Stannis? I swore a vow. But Stannis has a great army around him. I'm as good as any of them. Renly's death was no fault of yours. You served him bravely. I do not know your son, my lady. But I could serve you, if you would have me. That when the time comes, you will not hold me back. Promise me that you will not hold me back from Stannis. I promise you. Go ahead and promise. I will not hold you back. Then I am yours, my lady. I will shield your back and give my life for yours if it comes to that. I swear it by the old gods and the new. I vow that you shall always have a place in my home and at my table, and that I shall ask no service of you that might bring you dishonor. I swear it by the old gods and the new. Okay, okay. But there's wolves in their mills now, more than I ever seen. Well, be more than nuts for. <laughs> Oh man, it's getting far. Lord Stark! Torin Square is under siege. Torin Square is barely 40 leagues from here. Mm. Go, Sir Roderick. Take the men you need. Won't take long, my lord. Southerners don't do well up here. Hmm. You're choking. <laughs> so, what does it mean? I should ask your master Lewin. He's the one studying books all the time. I did ask him. He never heard of a three-eyed raven. Must not mean anything, then. Mm. You know what it means. I never said I didn't. He didn't give me an honest answer. That's not the same as being a liar. Yes, it is. Come A lie by omission is a lie. Is it not? What did you see in your dream? I dreamt that the sea came to Winterfell. I saw waves crashing against the gates, and the water came flowing over the walls. The sea is hundreds of miles away. The Three-Eyed Raven. What do they say about it? North of the Wall. They say all sorts of crazy things north of the Wall. <coughs> She's still in the There. Where? On that mountain. There's a fire. The people sitting around it have better eyes than yours or mine. How many wildlings have joined them? From what we can tell. All of them. Mansell's gathered them all like deer against the wolves. 
They're almost ready to make their move. Okay. I'm like everybody else on there like, what are they talking about? <laughs> Lord Commander, I'd like to join Lord Corrin. It was Stuart Snow, not a ranger. He fought and killed a white. How many rangers can say that? He's the one. He killed a white. You also let an old man beat your buddy and take your sword. Stay. Well, in the boy's defence, that's a tough old goat. I could take up John's duties while he's gone, my lord. I hope you make a better ranger than you do as steward. What do you want? To cross the narrow sea and take back the Iron Throne. The Iron Throne is mine, and I will take it. The gates of the city you bled for me. Why? I will show you why. And I will show you why. Made of Valyrian stone. The hardest steel does not make a mark. The only thing that can open this door is this key. And behind the door? And it can all be mine. Oh. Well, let us say half. All I have to do is marry me. The time is right, Daenerys Targaryen, first of your name. Robert Baratheon is dead. Four false kings destroying the country. To win Westeros, you need support from Westeros. The usurper is dead. The Starks fight the Lannisters, the Baratheons fight each other. According to your new friend, who earned your trust by cutting his hand? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there's nobody. I know the opportunity before you seems like the last you'll ever have, but you must Do understand. not speak to me like I'm a child. <laughs> There are times when I look at you and I still can't believe you're real. So what would you have me do as my advisor? Got me around you. Oh, you can do whatever you want to. Find your own ship. You only need one. The allies we need are in Westeros, not Car. And how do I get this ship? I'll find it for you. Sound ship with a good captain. I look forward to meeting him. Alice. You should stand side face. Huh? Side face? Sideways. Why? Smaller target. Am I fighting someone? You're practicing for a fight. You should practice right. <laughs> <laughs> the tickler. Yeah. Huh? Broke his neck. His head's back. <laughs> Thank you. That's what I'm talking about. Say <laughs> so, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Down to the game. She only gave one name. I know. She got two more names to give. So, what you think about? Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. I kind of like the fact that Brienne, Brienne has pledged her loyalty to, to Caitlin. Lady Stark. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I like yeah. Uh, like the fact that, you know, Arya is working. I like the fact that she looked him straight in his eyes that any man can be killed. Yeah. Any man. So, I'm like, you ain't a zimp, you know? I like that. And then with the wildfire, yeah, that idea is kind of stupid because you will burn your own city. Yeah. I'm just saying yeah. because yeah. like you said you, happens you, in battle. you throw the thing but what if you know you, the person who's throwing it that's it's gonna take people you know what happens when they throw something back and hit that catapult yeah the wildfire falls on on the people yeah yeah, yeah. I mean I, I, like I said I like Tyrion he's a strategic person yeah he knows. And maybe that's why you like, that's why people should read. 
Yeah. But a lot of people back then in this time that in this time are very educated, as you can see, by I, common people. I, I just love tyrannies. Alright. I like it. I don't want to see what's that. This was kinda it wasn't that big of a thing, you know, not a huge... It's kind of like a setup episode. Is it? Because uh, I'm like, uh, this one was kind of, oh, okay, it's kind of like a leveled out thing. It was nothing too big <laughs> that happened. Oh, and that, 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 um, God, I can't even think of that guy's name. That used to be... Yeah. Yeah. He wanted the man respect. No, you have to earn it well, among those people. Especially those, with those people, you gotta earn everything yeah, you get. You gotta earn that respect. You can't just go in there and demand it just because you're dead. I mean, that's what, you know, a lot of people do, but that's not how life works. You gotta earn your respect. I can respect your title, but you as a person, I don't have to respect you. I can respect your title. So. Yeah. Yeah, but. Anyway, thank you guys. Uh, hit the like, share, not like shares. Like and subscribe. And keep coming with your comments. See you next time.